Inside the shadow of Geneva, under the world's floor lies a shock of human inventiveness and a harbinger of destruction, the Beast Hadron Collider. It is a manual of smart evaluation, permitting analysts to examine the subatomic and inducing the discovery of the mysterious god particle. A while back, the now-renowned physicist Brian Cox made a chilling declaration that sent waves of marvel throughout the philosophical and scientific community. Something concerning has been uncovered at CERN, something that might have consequences far beyond our comprehension. Has our fundamental quest for knowledge placed us on a path toward disaster? Let us dive into this apparent problem. Yet, before we address Cox's unsettling assertion, let's first explore the basics of the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. The LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets and the world's most powerful particle accelerator. It stands as the zenith of human scientific achievement. Its power is so immense that it can replicate conditions present during the universe's creation. But should this construction, intended to unlock the universe's secrets, potentially open a pathway to something far more significant, even alarming? CERN, founded in 1954, is one of the world's most prestigious research institutions, consisting of 23 member states and a vast, diverse community of specialists. It is a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CERN's central endeavor, but it is only one part of a massive network of particle accelerators. These accelerators do not power engines or horses, but instead propel subatomic particles, hurtling them toward the very essence of existence itself. The LHC speeds up protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mirrors the energy of the universe at the moment of the Big Bang. The resulting collisions generate temperatures millions of times hotter than the center of the sun. A vast array of magnets guides the protons on their journey, while sophisticated cooling systems maintain temperatures colder than space. This system includes 1,232 dipole magnets to steer the beams, 392 quadrupole magnets to focus the beams, and additional magnets to compress particles maximizing the likelihood of collisions. The LHC's design is a marvel of engineering. Its concentric rings hidden 574 feet underground are insulated from radiation. The entire system is cooled to minus 456 degrees Fahrenheit colder than the vacuum of space itself, essential for the superconducting magnet's operation. Four collision points correspond to the locations of particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each has a unique role in studying different aspects of particle physics. These detectors contain vast cameras that capture collision data, analyzed to uncover phenomena like the Higgs boson, dubbed the God particle, a fundamental building block of the universe. This pursuit resembles solving an infinite jigsaw puzzle with dark, enigmatic pieces and no clear image to guide us. By examining the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm of the universe. Yet each discovery raises new questions and presents fresh challenges. The LHC is not just a scientific tool. It is a testament to human ambition, ingenuity, and innovation. It embodies our relentless drive to understand the fundamental forces shaping our reality. But with each scientific leap comes profound moral and existential questions. What risks accompany probing the unknown? Could our pursuit of knowledge inadvertently unleash forces beyond our control? Recently within the halls of CERN, a revelation sent chills through even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former CERN researcher and a leading voice in particle physics, issued a statement that has captivated and concerned the scientific community. He highlighted the LHC's goal to recreate a mini Big Bang, mimicking the event that birthed the universe. This extraordinary endeavor seeks to unveil the Higgs boson secrets and probe the mysteries of dark matter, a substance constituting much of the universe. While this is an exhilarating prospect, it is fraught with risks. The concept of the Big Bang is theoretical, yet the LHC replicates its temperatures, pressures, and energies, offering a glimpse into the dawn of existence. With such power comes immense responsibility and the questions of limits and risks persist. Consider the case of Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky. 
1978, while working at a synchrotron in Russia, a proton beam accidentally penetrated his skull. Though he survived, his severe injuries underscore the immense power and danger of particle accelerators. Similarly, concerns about the LHC creating microscopic black holes have sparked debate. While scientists assure us that any such black holes would quickly evaporate the mere possibility stirs fear. The LHC's proton collisions distort space-time, akin to jumping on a trampoline and watching it bend. Some theorize these distortions could lead to small black hole formation. This idea, rooted in quantum physics, explores hidden elements within space-time. If these elements exist, the LHC might access them, potentially triggering events like a black hole or vacuum decay, a, a hypothetical catastrophe described by Stephen Hawking and others. Hawking warned that the Higgs boson could behave unpredictably at high energy levels, possibly causing vacuum decay, a scenario where space-time unravels. Similarly, Sir Martin Rees cautioned that while the risks are minimal, the consequences of a catastrophic event could reshape the universe itself. CERN has implemented extensive safety measures to address these concerns. However, the inherent uncertainty of scientific exploration means risks remain. The pursuit of knowledge has always been accompanied by peril, but it is also what propels humanity forward. The LHC embodies decades of progress and our insatiable curiosity about the cosmos. Still, the potential dangers demand caution. Policymakers, scientists, and the public must engage in open dialogue about the ethical and existential implications of such research. As we delve deeper into the universe's secrets, we must ensure our quest for knowledge does not jeopardize our safety. The Hadron Collider is a marvel of human ingenuity, offering unparalleled insights into the universe's nature. Yet it also raises profound questions about responsibility limits and risk. It stands as a testament to humanity's relentless pursuit of understanding, a pursuit that must be balanced with caution and foresight. As we push the boundaries of scientific exploration, we must reflect on the broader implications of our discoveries. The LHC, while a beacon of human achievement, also serves as a reminder of our fragile position in the universe. With every experiment conducted and every breakthrough achieved, we inch closer to uncovering the ultimate truths of existence, truths that may either empower or unsettle us. The potential creation of many black holes, vacuum decay, or other extreme phenomena raises existential questions. What is the ethical limit of scientific experimentation? Can our collective ambition blind us to the consequences of delving too deep into the unknown? And how do we reconcile the potential benefits of such research with the risks it poses? Beyond these concerns, the work at CERN symbolizes humanity's interconnected nature. The collaboration of scientists, engineers, and thinkers from around the world underscores the power of unity in pursuit of a common goal. In a time of geopolitical tension and division, the LHC represents what humanity can achieve when it works together. It is not just a machine. It is a testament to our shared curiosity and the belief that understanding the universe is a universal endeavor. However, the dialogue around the LHC must include not only scientists but also ethicists, philosophers, and policymakers. It is imperative to foster a global conversation about the implications of such cutting-edge research. The potential outcomes, both good and bad, are not just the concern of the scientific community. They impact all of humanity. As the LHC continues its groundbreaking experiments, humanity must confront its deepest fears and greatest hopes. The Collider is a tool of unparalleled potential, a gateway to understanding the universe's most profound mysteries. Yet it is also a reminder of the delicate balance between discovery and caution, ambition and responsibility. In the end, the LHC is not just about uncovering the secrets of the cosmos. It is about defining who we are as a species, our capacity for curiosity, collaboration, and contemplation. As we journey deeper into the unknown, we must ensure that the pursuit of knowledge remains a force for progress guided by wisdom and humility. The ongoing work at CERN is both thrilling and sobering. While we celebrate the strides made in understanding the Higgs boson dark matter and the fundamental forces of the universe, 
we must also acknowledge the weight of our actions. The responsibility of wielding such immense power extends beyond the walls of laboratories. It requires society as a whole to reflect on the broader implications of these advancements. One of the most critical challenges is addressing the ethical boundaries of scientific exploration. History shows us that transformative discoveries often come with unintended consequences. Nuclear energy, for instance, brought both revolutionary power generation and the specter of atomic warfare. Similarly, the research conducted at CERN has the potential to reshape our understanding of existence, but also carries risks that we may not yet fully comprehend. Furthermore, as the LHC peels back layers of the universe's secrets, philosophical questions emerge. If we are capable of recreating the conditions of the Big Bang or probing the mysteries of space-time itself, what does this say about humanity's role in the cosmos? Are we merely observers, or are we becoming creators capable of manipulating the very fabric of reality? And if the latter, what moral framework should guide us? While the scientific community continues to assure the public that the risks of catastrophic events, such as miniature black holes or vacuum decay, are infinitesimally small the mere possibility sparks debate. Even the faintest chance of triggering an event with universe-altering consequences demands a serious discussion about the precautions necessary to prevent such outcomes. In parallel, the potential benefits of the LHC's work cannot be overstated. Unlocking the secrets of dark matter, for example, could revolutionize our understanding of the universe and even lead to technological advancements that seem unimaginable today. By peering into the quantum realm, we may uncover new principles of physics that could redefine energy, transportation, and even life itself. The possibilities are as vast as they are exciting. As humanity continues this delicate dance between discovery and danger, we must prioritize transparency. The public deserves to know the purpose, potential, and risks of experiments at CERN and similar facilities. Open dialogue fosters trust and ensures that scientific advancements are pursued with the broader good in mind. Finally, we must approach these endeavors with humility. The universe is vast and complex far beyond our current understanding. While the LHC has provided groundbreaking insights, it has also reminded us of how much we still don't know. Every answer uncovers new questions, and every discovery reveals new mysteries. In our pursuit of knowledge, we must remain mindful of our limitations and the potential consequences of venturing into the unknown. The Large Hadron Collider and CERN as a whole stand as monuments to humanity's unyielding curiosity and capacity for innovation. They are proof of what we can achieve when we come together to explore the greatest questions of existence. Yet as we push forward, we must temper our ambition with caution, ensuring that our quest for understanding enhances rather than endangers the world we inhabit. In the end, the story of CERN and the LHC is not just about physics. It's about humanity itself. It is a story of courage and curiosity of risk and responsibility and of our enduring desire to understand the universe and our place within it. Whatever the future holds, one thing is certain. Our journey into the unknown will continue fueled by the boundless human spirit and guided, we hope, by wisdom and care. As we stand on the precipice of discovery, it's clear that the Large Hadron Collider is not merely a scientific instrument. It is a mirror reflecting humanity's eternal struggle between curiosity and caution, ambition, and restraint. While the LHC's experiments may answer fundamental questions about the universe, they also force us to confront profound uncertainties about the consequences of our actions. One of the most pressing issues moving forward is fostering global cooperation and accountability in scientific research. The pursuit of knowledge transcends national borders and the implications of discoveries made at CERN affect all of humanity. This demands a framework of international oversight where scientists, governments, and the public collaborate to establish ethical guidelines for high-stakes experimentation. Such a framework could ensure that breakthroughs are pursued responsibly with due consideration for their potential risks and benefits. Another key challenge lies in educating the public about the complexities of particle physics and its impact on our world. Misconceptions about CERN and the LHC, such as fears of black holes consuming the Earth, 
often overshadow the groundbreaking work being done. Transparency and communication are essential to bridge the gap between the scientific community and the general public fostering trust and understanding. Through outreach and education, CERN can inspire the next generation of scientists while addressing concerns about the risks involved. Looking ahead, the future of the LHC and similar projects promises even more ambitious goals. Upgrades to the Collider aim to increase its energy levels and precision, allowing scientists to delve deeper into the mysteries of dark matter, dark energy, and the forces that govern our universe. These advancements may reveal entirely new realms of physics, challenging our current understanding and reshaping our technological landscape. Yet with these advancements comes the need for introspection. As we expand the boundaries of human knowledge, we must ask ourselves, what are we hoping to achieve? Are we prepared to face the truths we uncover? And how do we ensure that our discoveries benefit humanity as a whole rather than creating new divides or dangers? The story of the Large Hadron Collider is at its heart a story of exploration. It is a journey into the unknown driven by a desire to answer the most fundamental questions of existence. Where did we come from? What are we made of? And what is the fate of our universe? These questions have fueled human imagination for millennia, and now at the frontier of particle physics, we are closer than ever to finding the answers. But this journey is not without its risks. As we unlock the secrets of the universe, we must tread carefully aware of the power we wield and the responsibility that comes with it. The discoveries made at CERN have the potential to transform our understanding of reality. But they also challenge us to confront the ethical, philosophical, and existential implications of such knowledge. In the end, the work being done at CERN is not just about science. It is about humanity's place in the cosmos. It is a testament to our curiosity, our ingenuity, and our relentless drive to understand the world around us. The Large Hadron Collider stands as a symbol of what we can achieve when we dare to dream, to explore, and to push the boundaries of what is possible. As we look to the future, one thing is certain. The journey of discovery will continue. With every collision, every particle, and every question answered, we take another step closer to understanding the universe and ourselves. The challenge lies not only in what we discover, but in how we choose to use that knowledge, ensuring that it serves as a force for progress, unity, and the betterment of all humankind.